you all either don't want to give him. I don't know why. If you want these people as bad as you say you do, I have to go get stories, whatever it takes to get them. I can't lay back and expect people to call me with the news. So if, if the sheriff says, okay, I'm not going to call you, but if you send me the warrant or whatever the hell of these legal things he says he needs, then you get the guy. Why won't you all sit down with him, figure out how to get him this paperwork he needs so you can work together and take care of these people? The reality is, is this is politics over public safety. But it's on both sides, isn't it? It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. This is, we've been enforcing immigration law for years. We provide him with a detainer. It's a recognized form with a warrant of arrest or a final order of removal. But if that's not working, why aren't you trying to sit down with him or do something? If these are as bad a people as and, you say they are and as dangerous, the fact that you guys don't want to go not, get them. Not only is he not honoring detainers, <laughs> but he's not even notifying us when somebody is walking out the door. The reality is, is dangerous criminals are walking out the front door and they're recommitting crimes in the neighborhood, and he can be stopping it. Plain and simple. There's nothing you can do. We There's will continue to, to, to work, we will with, continue to work with Congress. We will continue to work with the local sheriff. We will be happy to talk with whoever it is when it comes to public safety.